Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here from the Mayhem Prone Show, where today, Season 7 has finally begun! After watching the fantastic season premiere, I have come to the conclusion that Starlight Glimmer is the new owner of the Alicorn Amulet. Now this initially will sound a little far-fetched, but I believe that Starlight's anger manifestation is actually a result of the amulet's power. Well, in order to prove my point, we have to compare the amulet to Starlight's anger. Now, of course, the most striking similarity is the fact that they both use red magic, which is extremely rare in the show. I can only think of three instances where red magic has been used. The fact that they share such a rare trait means that they have to have some sort of relationship, but this is not enough to prove anything. Well then, what was the effect of this magic on their hosts, in this case, Trixie and the three ponies that absorbed Starlight's anger? Well, once again, we see many similarities. All of these hosts were corrupted by the magic until they were sent into a highly aggressive rage. And not only did all of these ponies act the same, but they all got bright red eyes. Another thing that's really rare outside of these two episodes. So the use of the amulet in Starlight's anger resulted in nearly identical physical and mental properties across all of its hosts. So therefore, it makes a lot of sense to say that they are using the same type of magic. Well, now that I've established that Starlight's anger manifestation is using the same type of magic as the Alicorn Amulet, it's time for me to address and resolve some of the big issues with this theory. First of all, we have to look at the fact that Starlight is not in Alicorn. This is actually not a deal breaker. We know practically nothing about the amulet, and saying that it requires physical contact to work implies that all artifacts need physical contact. Well, throughout the show, this has been proven to be false. Many artifacts like the Crystal Heart have been able to affect ponies miles away without any form of contact. Now, when Trixie took the amulet off, she immediately lost all power over it. But the thing is, C had only owned the amulet for a few days at that point. In my theory, Starlight has owned the amulet since long before her debut, and would therefore be a lot more experienced with it, even to the point where C could control it without being in physical contact with it. The second issue is, how did Starlight get the amulet? The last time we saw it, Decora was taking it away to hide it where it would never be found. Well, through her various Season 5 cameos, we can see that she's very good at being stealthy when the situation calls for it. So it's not very hard to assume that sometime before Season 5, Starlight Glimmer was able to steal the amulet from Zakora without her knowing it. And the final issue of the theory is, is there any evidence for Starlight having the Alicorn Amulet before Season 7? And the answer to that is a big yes. One of the amulet's signature features was its ability to give Trixie enough magical power to perform difficult body transformation spells, such as her age spell. And let me ask you, dear viewer, has Starlight ever used an extremely powerful body transformation spell? That's right. Starlight Glimmer used the Alicorn Amulet's immense power to remove the cutie marks in her debut episode. And think about it, if this theory was true, so much would be explained. A lot of people didn't like Starlight Glimmer initially because they said her motivation as a villain was weak. They thought that the fact that she lost a friend as a child wasn't enough to try to destroy the world. Well, if she was being corrupted by the evil magic of the Alicorn Amulet, these actions would actually make sense, since it's the aggression from the amulet that's making her do it. But what do you think? Is my theory at all plausible? How are you liking Season 7 so far? Do you like my brand new set? Tell me in the comment sections down below. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show, and goodbye!